Hey everybody, how's it going? Jonathan here. Uh, I'm really excited to share with you a new great way to use Selenium and Python in order and ChatGPT in order to help you with your testing and uh, just sort of, how do I say this? Uh, to create XPaths, okay? So the, the most powerful way to select web elements in Selenium is to use the XPath which is a string of text that will specifically select anything. No more guesswork work when you understand XPath, but it's a bit cryptic, super powerful, but also very complex. So in this video, we're gonna use ChatGPT to uh, manipulate XPath and update our code. So let's get right into it. Uh, here is ChatGPT, we're using ChatGPT4. And this is the website, the web page in question. Or no, you know, we just go to the home page homepage here and what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna open it up this is an this is an h2 so let's look at the where are you I just want to find a little code snippet uh, we gotta change that there not a code snippet exactly but like a um, you know, just a little piece of HTML. We're gonna take that and it's wrapped around an example of what we want. And I'm going to go to here and I'm gonna say, I want you to give me the Selenium XPath that extracts all the, the H2 texts that look like the below HTML example when you do that to extract all the HTML given the example using you need to use the following XPath expression so while that's working because chat GPT 4 it's a little slow we're just going to copy our existing text or our existing code okay thank you for the explanation I'm going to say here is my code please update it to print out all of those H2 texts. There you go. The find elements method instead of using find element. Okay, so find elements returns an array. We've gone over that in past episodes. Okay, very nice. Very nice, okay, this all looks good. It's kind of cleaning up my code a little bit too, which is very good. Okay, it's got the XPath, it's correctly writing that all in there. And then it's gonna create the elements by passing in the by.xpath and XPath, okay, and then it's gonna print it out. All right, let's run it. Excuse me. Okay, it's opening the page. And does it print it all out? It's loading the page. It's still loading there. Loading, 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 waiting. The full page is not yet loaded. And there you go, loaded and then it printed. Great, so there's test, how to extract. That's fantastic. So there you have it. That's uh, how you can use ChatGPT to create XPaths. And, uh, and yeah, very good. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and drop a comment below. Have a great day. Uh, don't forget to spay and neuter your animals.